Hello friends, in this video I will explain to you what are the functions in Python programming. Functions are a very important tool in structured programming development. Very often a same set of instructions are to be repeatedly used inside a program. So instead of recoding the same set of instructions again and again. What is done is that piece of code or the block of code is written as a function and that function can be reused or called multiple times as and when required from anywhere in the program. So in that sense a function is a block of organized code which can be reused. The objective of the function is to perform a single task so that the same task can be repeatedly performed by the program giving it variable number of arguments or variable arguments at different points of time. So using such function in a program provides a kind of modularity to the program and therefore it gives a freedom to call the once defined function again and again from within the program itself. So that you de define a function once and for all and call it as many times as and where required in your program. Now the Python's core library has a large number of built-in functions. So you, you can always use those built-in functions for your you know, purpose. But what happens if the function that is required for your program is not available in the library. In that case, you have to define your own function called as user defined functions. So how to write those user defined functions and how to execute or call those user defined functions is the, uh, uh, our objective is to study the building a user defined function and calling the user defined function. So as far as Python is concerned, the definition of the Python function starts with a special keyword provided in Python's keyword list called as def. So def is followed by the user defined name that you may want to give it to that. So it is followed by the function name and invariably the name of the function is followed by brackets or parentheses. Now the bracket or parenthesis may be empty or there may be any parameter or argument that may be needed for the processing of the function. So there is a name and the parenthesis. The parenthesis may include one or more than one arguments or parameters. The after the name of the function and after the name of the after the bracket you give a colon and you remember what happens as soon as you give colon the Python's editor starts a uniformly indented block. So the statements inside that block will now form the body of the function. Now the first statement in the block is, is an optional statement which can be used as the documentation string. The block of the statements after the colon which form the body of the function should end with a keyword called as return. So last statement must be return. Now the return statement can be a you know void return statement without any parameter or expression in front of it or there can be an, an expression in front of it. So if there is no expression in front of it the program just returns to the place where from where it was called. If there is any expression in front of it, it returns and while returning it takes back that expression to the calling environment or to the place where it was called. So this is a manner in which the function is defined using the def keyword and optionally the parameters can be given. By using the def keyword, 
the defining defined function can be you know it is an identifier the def keyword gives an identifier to that function so that is the main purpose of that def keyword and also uh, you have identified which parameters will be provided to it those are called as the formal arguments now once the structure of the function is finalized you have you decided what is the name of the function what are the parameters what is, what is the documentation string and what is the process to be done on the parameters now you are in a position to call the function so how to call the function all you have to do is to just write the name of the function of course with the bracket and provided if the definition has certain number of parameters those number of parameters must be actually provided to it so that is how you call the function so for instance this sample block of statement the syntax is showing that def function name that is of course your choice parameters if at all you want to give they will be in the bracket colon so as soon as you give colon the indent has started the first you know line in the indented block as i said is an optional explanatory sort of text which is called as a documentation string the rest of the statements will follow the last statement in the block must be a return the square bracket shows expression whenever we find when a syntax is represented or you know shown if there is a square bracket it means that the that the value is an optional value so here also expression is optional now this is the definition of the function how do you call it the same name of the function in the calling environment from where the function is called use the name of the function and provide the actual number of parameters that have been used for definition so this is how the function is defined function is called now this mechanism i will demonstrate to you by writing a function in a python script how to define and how to call that we will see by an example the concepts of how to define a function and how to call a function that we just discussed now let us put those concepts in practice in this python script as you can see a print me user defined function has been defined with the keyword def and the function is designed to accept one argument the purpose of the print me function is simple to print out the received argument this is the body of the function which is a uniformly indented indented sequence of statements the first statement after the colon as you know it is called as a documentation string string so this prints a path string into this function this line will act as a documentation string and the sequence or the function definition ends with a return statement and this is the place from which the function is called there are two calls are placed with two different strings as the argument so when we run it the two strings will be one by one accepted by the print me function and they will be just printed out so let us run and see how it results so there you go the two calls to the print me function are executed like this